Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are gonna be getting to those last little holiday decorating things that I didn't get to in my Christmas Decorate With Me. So if you haven't seen that, go watch that. I basically lay the whole holiday decor foundation for my home. I take you guys through step by step. So there are a couple things that I didn't get to, like my table set up, trimming my tree, and wrapping my presents. So that is what we are gonna be tackling today. I do just wanna address the elephant in the room for those of you who have been patiently following along and waiting for me to do my dining nook reveal. It is coming. This project took so much longer than we anticipated. Just the DIY portion of the bench we thought would take a week and it actually ended up taking a month. And then on top of it, we ordered our custom bench cushion back in August and we just received it a couple of weeks ago. So I've been a little preoccupied with the Christmas stuff. So thanks for your patience. It's coming, stay tuned for that video. But today we are gonna be decorating this table to start. And as you guys can see, we have our lovely Lazy Susan here, which is really great and practical for everyday use but you know this guy has got to go people can't really see over this it's great when Mike and I are here because we usually just sit in these chairs and enjoy the view but you know I'm ready for a change and to just kind of make it a little bit more fitting for the holidays so I'm gonna go for a really classy elegant look but still really simplistic and budget friendly so I'm gonna go get my stuff and we are gonna decorate the table let's do it Okay, so I first started by clearing everything off to give myself a nice blank slate to start with. And because I wanted to dress this table up for holiday gatherings, but still make it practical and low profile, I decided to do a runner with some garland. So I picked up this cheesecloth at Hobby Lobby. It was only $6 and this is great because of how inexpensive it is. You don't have to worry about getting it stained or anyone spilling red wine on it. Cheesecloth is actually a really elegant look and it's very popular for weddings right now. I love the added texture that it gives to the tablescape while still keeping things light, airy, and casual. So you can get cheesecloth really cheap at Hobby Lobby or on Amazon in a more neutral shade, but they also have some really fun colors available on Etsy if you're willing to pay a little bit more and have a certain color in mind. So I just trimmed this at the end and the one that I bought from Hobby Lobby was actually perfect for doing two strips on my table. And I really liked the look of doubling up on the cheesecloth because it added a little bit more texture and depth to it. I would just stretch the cheesecloth all the way out and kind of scrunch it up with my fingers to give it kind of a crinkly look and I would also try to keep the edges in a more flowy curvy shape for some added visual interest and I really love this because it lays a great textural foundation for your tablescape and it's just a little bit more unique than just your typical runner and it's actually cheaper so for our garland I got this really pretty mixed pine cone and berry one from home goods I actually got it last year post Christmas and I think someone just had returned it so I snagged it right up um, but I think that real garland would look really pretty laid on top of this too. I know that Home Depot has some really nice garland in their garden section right now, but I just had this from last year, so I decided to use it. And I kind of like how the blue tones played off of our ocean print that we have hanging over our table. But it was a little bit on the sparse side for me personally, so I had picked up some extra picks from Hobby Lobby. I believe they were like three or four bucks each, and I maybe had five or six, so it really wasn't that expensive. So I just just added them in there just to add some fullness and some depth and really make it feel fluffed up and full. So if you were using real garland, I think it would be really pretty to go get some eucalyptus stems at Trader Joe's or something like that and just layer them in and that would just give you some variety in there and a very similar overall look. But next I have been collecting brass candlesticks over the last couple of months at thrift stores and antique shops. I know that some people do clean their brass, but I personally really love the aged patina on there and I feel like it makes it look a bit more cozy, curated, and vintage. So I also love of mixing different heights and candlestick shapes so I just thought it would be really pretty to kind of mix them in there I tried really hard to find these at really affordable prices like a dollar each or two dollars each I think I bought the set of three for six fifty at an antique mall the little short ones so definitely affordable decor that still looks really elegant and designer I love the contrast that the brass adds against the wood and greenery and the softness of the cheesecloth. So I just layered them in there with the 
tallest ones in the center and then I just pop some white candlesticks that I got from Walmart in there and I love how this instantly gives this tablescape a really cozy and elegant atmosphere while still being simple and affordable. And speaking of simple and affordable, these are my absolute favorite plates. They're from Target and come in both gray and sour cream and I honestly couldn't pick one so I own both sets and we use the gray ones for everyday use and then the sour cream are more of like our guest set but I love the kind of uneven edge on here and how it's a little bit more organic shape so it kind of gives that very casual elegant look that I'm really going for with this tablescape so both are available and link below right now at Target so I just kind of set these out we're gonna set it for six for now but we'll see if we need to put an extra two out but I just love the way these look I love that they're neutral and very simple and then same thing we have this really affordable flatware from Target as well this is definitely our fancier stuff so we don't put this through the dishwasher very often or anything like that but I think it just looks really elegant and plays off of those brass candlesticks and then next I just found this Ralph Lauren dinner napkin set at home goods it was $13 for a set of four I bought two of them which I know it's on the pricier side but I just really like that light linen-y look of them and I did find a similar looking set on Amazon which I will link below but we're just going to tie these in a simple knot make sure it's a looser knot so your guests can get it undone easily but I just love this technique because you don't have to spend money on napkin rings or anything extra but it still gives you that really elegant look and adds a ton of visual interest with that pretty textural knot so next I just finished it off by setting out our wine glasses and that is really it you guys a simple elegant and affordable tablescape that looks impressive but still keeps things feeling casual light and airy So I just wanted to give you guys a fun little house update. This is my new vintage bench. Look how pretty it is. I saw this at one of my local antiques shops here yesterday in Charlotte and it's super long. I think it's like 88 inches and I just knew I had to have it because we had a smaller vintage bench here before and it really just didn't go with the scale of this room just because we have really tall ceilings and this staircase is so large. It just looked really dinky next to it. So I was so excited when I found this. We moved our old one into our master bedroom. It's like at our foot of our bed now, but I thought this was so pretty. It has like some really pretty aging on it and it was only $375. I know some of you will think that's a lot, but for a bench this long and for being a vintage piece, I was really excited about that. So grabbed her. I don't know how she fit in my car. Honestly, I don't. So yeah, that's the fun little new furniture update, but I did just get my McGee & Co packages in the mail. I ordered some stuff on Black Friday for our new bathroom that we're redoing. It's not a new bathroom. We're just redoing our master. So I'm excited to kind of unbox these and see what they look like. And then we will get going on the tree and the presents. For those of you who know me, you know I'm olive tree and olive branch, all of anything really obsessed. So, this is packaged good. So I ordered this little tabletop tree that I thought was going to look super realistic for our bathroom. So I'll show you guys once I get this thing out of here. Okay. Like, I'm sorry, you have to touch this to see if it's real. It looks so real. This thing looks like it's been sitting out in the... Tuscan sun for years. So that's so pretty. Why didn't I not buy two? <laughs> this guy, I will say these weren't cheap. It was definitely a splurge, but I kind of wanted to have something as a statement piece that I'd only need one of. And I really liked this for our bathroom because it doesn't take up a lot of space, but it still makes a statement. So it takes up more vertical space. So then we have like more countertop to use. That was kind of my thinking. So I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh, how pretty. You guys, seriously, look at these leaves. Like, these legit look super real. They have like a full-size olive tree on their website and it's so expensive. But seeing this like almost makes me wanna buy it. I won't do it because it's too expensive, but 
Mm. So I also splurged and bought our vanity lighting from McGee & Co. Now I will say it was expensive, but I was looking at other vanity lights that were the same price point that were like from Home Depot. So I was kind of like, why not? So I hope they're as pretty as they look online. Okay, so this is the base of it. I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of designers use a three or like a tri vanity light. I've only seen two or just like sconce lights. So I figured it was time to go to this and I really like the metal on here. It looks truly like aged brass. I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks kind of faded because some things say aged brass and then, you know, when you open up the package, they're not. This does look really nice. Um, and then I got these little, Oh, they're Ralph Lauren. It says it on the side right here. Okay. Um, so then these just go on like that. And there'd be another one, but I'm going to try to keep this as intact as possible. But I think these are really pretty. I'm definitely glad I went for them. They were only 200 something, so they weren't too bad because there are a lot more expensive lights on McGee & Co. And this was one of those that was on the cheaper end. So yeah, I think this is pretty. That's a win. I totally forgot I bought this. I bought this for shelf styling kind of decor. Um, I thought it'd also be cute in a bathroom, maybe on like a stack of books on a console table or something. I just love kind of that aged wood look. So this definitely has that. That's really pretty. So yeah, I would say successful McGee & Co purchase. All right, so it's the next day, same spot, just next day. The day kind of got away from me yesterday. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the tree trimmings that I have to work with. I didn't have a huge budget for this portion of Christmas decorating this year, just cause I kind of spent, you know, it in other places. Places, since this was the first full Christmas we're having in our home this year. So the first thing I found was this really pretty kind of jute star topper for the tree. This guy was $5 at Hobby Lobby, 50% off. And I really like incorporating very organic natural materials like jute or linen or wood. I feel like this really helps your space breathe, makes it feel very organic and down to earth. So I always try to do that with anything that I do, keep those elements in mind. So I like that this was a really pretty tree topper and it was only $5. So that was a good one. I also found these really pretty ornaments. These were $15 at TJ Maxx. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some speckling in there. I think that looks really fun and antiqued. I like the old vintage kind of feel. I feel like that's just really cozy and warm. So these guys, and then I know I've already showed these on my channel before, but um, I got these from Walmart and I love this faded coppery brass detail on the top. I think that's a fun little vintage detail. And I don't know, I just think that they're unique looking, but you know, they're from Walmart and they were so cheap. So that was a win to find those. And then I know I've showed you guys the ribbon ripping technique with fabric. So you kind of get that fun frayed look. And um, if you haven't seen it, it's in my previous DIY, I will link it. But I figured I would do that with some of this stuff. Um, I also have this darker one. And then I found a really pretty lace one as well. So I found all of these in the scrap fabric section at Walmart. And I think that they'll add just a fun texture. I already have some garland on the tree that I did this kind of faux aging brass technique to. I have a video on that, but I already put that up. So that's going to be a fun kind of base. And then we'll kind of soften it up with this other stuff. So yeah, let's get started and see how we can zhuzh this baby up. Okay, so this is what I came up with. I actually ended up only using the lace, which I feel like ended up turning out really pretty. I think this is kind of like a fun vintage touch, and I know I've said that a million times, but I just feel like that's what kind of looks classic and cozy to me personally. So I just used a couple of those, and then, you know, we had these little Walmart guys that I used, and then these fun ones from TJ Maxx, and that was really it. So along with the garland, I feel like that looks really pretty and simple, but still, you know, dresses it up enough to where it feels special and decorated and not just bare. So 
yeah, now I've cleared out all the presents. They are over here. I just want to say to you guys too, Mike wrapped these. He is like weirdly good at it. Um, I mean, look at this precision. Uh, here, I'll show you one that I wrapped. <laughs> this is the one to him that I wrapped. And seriously, it's so embarrassing. I don't know why, but it's already coming undone. But this is just like not something that I will ever be good at is wrapping presents. So I had Mike do all these and then we are gonna just kind of make them a little bit prettier. So I used this white stuff is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then this paper brown is actually from the dollar store. So they have a bunch of that. If you can't find it anywhere, check the dollar store. So we are gonna try to kind of wrap these all pretty and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys real quick what I'm working with. We already got our presents wrapped. Thank you, Michael. And then I just ripped some ribbon you guys this is the easiest thing ever I got this ribbon like I said before from the Walmart scrap fabric section but if you don't have that near you or whatever or they don't have a sheer fabric you can just go and get a couple of yards of a really cheap sheer fabric so all I do is I cut a little starter point in it just like you know not even an inch long and then I just start ripping from there and it takes two seconds and it makes this really pretty kind of natural organic soft ribbon which I love the look of I feel like a rhythmic gymnast <laughs> waving this around so I have this darker gray color and then I have some lighter leftover from the stuff that I thought I was going to use on the tree, but I didn't. And then I have some cinnamon sticks. I thought these were cute, neutral, but still very festive because it's cinnamon sticks and it's very Christmas timey. So thought these would be cool. I got them at Hobby Lobby, by the way. Um, I guess they were three bucks because I got them for 50% off. So three bucks a thing. I have two of these. And then I also got this garland, but I will be cutting this up and... This was $12, I got it for 50% off, so six bucks for this whole thing. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim off some of the little ends and then use it to layer in with our cinnamon sticks and just kind of make it feel organic and woodsy and fresh, even though it's fake. We're gonna do that and get started on wrapping. Right, you guys so that about wraps up this video get it yeah I know it wouldn't be a true video of mine without a bad joke but thank you guys again so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed kind of coming along on my final Christmas prep sad and bittersweet I think this is my last Christmas decor themed video of the season so that was fun, but my regular home decor should be resuming next week. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that. And I wanna thank you guys again so much for all your kind positivity in the comments section. It seriously means so much to me to have all of your kind support. And I hope you all have such a wonderful and good holiday season. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.